like literally, you know, there's tafsir, different opinions, what the scholars said, what this, the three favorite generations said about it, the Salaf, and we should uh, study, study the hadith, which Prophet ﷺ explained this to us, you know, I, I, I can go with you to this, but I don't want, you know, because it's my religion, and I don't want to speak about something that I don't have knowledge of. If you speak on about something else, okay, but I don't want to talk about this. I So I believe that Allah helped the true Christians, man. So we believe that true Christians was Muslims. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, wh whoever is the, a true Christian, he's a Muslim. A true, Christ a true, a true Christian is a Muslim? Yeah, because a true Christian submits to God. Whoever submits to God, he's a Muslim according to our faith. Got it, no worries. So the Christians who are Muslims, you're saying... From Jesus' time, Allah helped them in spreading the message, right? The message of monotheism, Islam, yes. Uh -huh. And so that at no point in time then could disbelievers infiltrate and distort the message that Allah himself is helping to promote and, and push, right? Yeah, promoting for the specific people of a specific time, not mm. for forever because not there's forever. another messenger like prophet muhammad is going to come he will bring <clears throat> again the perfect message of monotheism mm. that's why the previous message is not that important to be preserved because there's another messenger oh that's not true at all because the quran says that he would allah will help them uh until the day of judgment so from yeah, the help them. yeah help them. That, they'll, that they'll be superior over the disbelievers until the day of resurrection so it, it's from that point on, from Jesus' time all the way until now, the followers of Jesus and those who believe in Jesus and spread his message will be victorious over the disbelievers. Let me tell you who is the real follower. They are, do you know Ebionites? Yeah. They are the true follower of Jesus. They, they, they believe that Jesus is a prophet and they believe God is one. That's Muslims and those, those followers of Christians, they are they Yeah, but they, but they phased out. The Trinitarians have dominated them, haven't they? So, so if uh, that's the creed that's important. That's not about fighting and dominating. No, it is. It is, about, is it is about. It is about. It is about. It is about that because Allah says He gave them power over the disbelievers, and they became uppermost and will be remain uppermost, dominant over the disbelievers until the day of resurrection. So if you're saying that the Ebionites are those true followers of Jesus that the Quran is talking about, then Allah failed because they fizzled out and the, and the Trinitarians took over. So uh, I don't know why you want to, That doesn't mean Islam is false. You know what I mean? That Those things doesn't mean Islam is wrong. It will. You know? uh, there's, there's two ways. There's two ways to go about this. Either, so Islam will be false because then now it's this... Because Allah failed to keep his promise to keep the original followers of Jesus above the disbelievers. If he failed to do that, like the Quran said he would, then Islam is false. God will test those who God love. You know, that doesn't. Prophet Muhammad suffered a lot. The people of Taif stoned him. The people of Taif beat him. His, his feet, his shoes were full of blood. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So prophets are tested, the good people are tested, So and they will have a, a good position in the hereafter. And, and in Islam, we believe if you are even a sick, if you are sick, by that sickness, God will forgive your sins. What does that have, to do, what, what does that have to do with Allah saying that he promises to protect and to uh, give victory over the followers of Jesus until the day of resurrection in spreading his message? What does that have to do with that? Yeah, yeah. If you are, if Allah will give, uh, so it's not only Allah. Allah says in the Quran that Allah will bring nation after nation. You know, it's uh, it's a verse of the Quran that He bring generation after generations. You know, they fall after some fall, uh, come come will up. Some will fall. Some will come up. Except for these, he's, he says that the followers of Jesus will not fall. They will not collapse. So, they will. They will be victorious forever. Which verse? Which verse of the Quran? Chapter sixty-one, verse fourteen. What, is, what does it say? It says, "O you who believed, be supporters of Allah, as when Jesus, the Son of Mary, said to the disciples, who are my supporters for Allah?'" The disciples said, 
We are supporters of Allah. And a party of the children of, of Israel believed and a, and a party of them disbelieved. So we supported those who believed against their enemies and they became dominant. And then verse 355, it says the same thing. It says, oh, Jesus, indeed, I will take you and raise you to myself and purify you of those who disbelieve and make those who follow you superior to those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. Uh, you said which surah and which verse, sorry. So it's chapter 61, verse 14. 61. Verse 16? Verse 14. 14? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so there it says, O oh believers, O oh, oh, you who believe, be supporters of Allah, as when Jesus, the son of Mary, said to the disciples, who are my supporters for Allah? The disciples said, we are supporters of Allah, and, uh, and the faction of the children of Israel believed, and a faction of disbelief. So we support those who believed against their enemy, and they become dominant. Yep. Now, okay. 355, we go to chapter 3, verse 55. It says that they remain dominant until the day of resurrection. Surah 3, verse 55? Yes. Is it Surah Al-Imran? That's right. Verse 55. Okay. Make sure you guys hit the like button on YouTube. Should have a, a thousand likes by now. Okay. I will take you and rise to myself. So, uh, superior to those who disbelieve, this is your uh, concern, yeah? Yep. So, so it means superior in faith, superior in, in rank, you know, in, in rank. Of course, they're superior in rank from those who disbelieve, you know, nope. those who believe in Allah and believe in Jesus, nope. they're, they're higher in rank level, you know, that's true. Nope. It says that they are helpers of Allah, helpers in the cause of Allah. What does it mean to be helpers in the cause of Allah? Uh, this is in Surah Al-Imran 55. 61 verse 14. Both of them, so both of them, okay. back and, go back and back on each other. At sixty-one okay. fourteen, this is where we see the initial, the initial promise. Okay, the first one I, I answered you. Now we go to this. No, you didn't answer anything. What are you talking about? You, you guys think that you just talk and then you? Oh, that's an answer. <laughs> man, Muslims, man, you guys are a special people. In 61.14, it says, yeah. who are my supporters okay. for Allah? What does it mean to be supporters of Allah? Yeah, so in this context, uh, you know, you should we should go to tafsir. Why? Because uh, we, we don't know. That's why you don't know. I don't know. What, what do you mean? I do know. I do know. 
And it's because I read the tafsir that also back up what I'm saying. The tafsir get, would make, make it a lot more clear. You, if you want to go to the tafsir, I, I could pull up the tafsir on um, both of them. Tafsir, let's go to the tafsir, 6114. And 355. So, Jalalain on 355. And mention when God said, da 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 da, and I'm cleansing you of removing you far away from those who disbelieve. This is Jalalain saying, and I am setting those who follow you, those Christians and Muslims who believed in your prophethood. Above those who disbelieved in you, namely the Jews, becoming above them through argument and the sword until the day of judgment. So they're superior to them in debating, in argumentation, in, in discussing belief, and their, in battle. I bring there some tafsir, uh, different illustrations of tafsir. It says that. Uh, all you believe be vindictators of Allah. And here in, a, in another thing, believe in the cause of Allah. Yep. You know? Ibn Kathir yeah. says, who are my helpers in the cause of Allah? Meaning, who will support me in conveying the message of Allah? Yeah, so that's so clear. So, you, so if you spread the message of Allah, so you... You became a bitter person. That doesn't mean you helped Allah. No, you know? no, 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 no. Pay attention to what no, the verse says. Pay attention to what the verse says, my friend. Yourself. So listen, pay attention to what the verse says. They said, we are supporters of Allah, right? So we will spread the message of Jesus that he gave to Jesus. We're going to help spread the message and the truth, right? And then Allah says, and we supported those who believed who said that they're helping. So he supported them in spreading the message against those who disbelieved, who are trying to stop the message. And he says, and they became dominant, superior. So it's not in status. It's not in rank. It's not just, oh, they're higher in the eyes of God. No, Allah helped them in spreading the message and that they're successful over them in spreading the message. I don't know about this, you know. I said you should go to Tafsir and this is what you <laughs> I'm in the, the Tafsir. Context. I don't want to talk about it, okay? I'm in the Tafsir. Because, because the Quran is not like we can take it literally, you know. There is Tafsir, different opinions, what the scholars say, when this, the three favorite generations said about it, the Salaf. And we should uh, study, study the hadith, which Prophet ﷺ explained this to us. You know, I, I, I can go with you to this, but I don't want, you know, because it's my religion. And I don't want to speak about something that I don't have knowledge of. If you speak on about something else, okay, but I don't want to talk about this. All right, no worries. So just, let me just give you my conclusion on this, okay? Here's the point. Because the Quran is pretty clear. We don't need, it's not, it's not super deep. It's not some mystical... It's, it's, Verses no, that we is, can't understand it is, here. No, it is the verses deep. is clear. Is let, me, let me give you my conclusion on this because I believe it's clear that Allah promised to help the followers of Jesus in spreading the message of Jesus, spreading the gospel. Allah promised to help them do it. And he says that he did help them do it and that those who were doing it, he made them uppermost, superior over the disbelievers who tried to stop them or distort the message of Jesus. And he says that they will remain superior over the disbelievers until the day of judgment. So there's no point okay. in any history from that point all the way up until now, all the way until judgment day, there's no point where the disbelievers will succeed against the believers of Jesus in spreading the message and the truth. Okay, that's your opinion. That's okay, what it says. Can I answer? Can I ask you a question now? So that would mean that would mean that Allah helped the Christians from that point forward up until now, and is and doing it until Judgment Day. And we know what the Christians have been preaching. Who have been the dominant Christians? What has been the message of the dominant Christians? Monotheism to worship Allah alone, and Jesus is the messenger of Allah. I agree that it's been monotheism, but specifically, what kind of monotheism? 
have the Christians who are dominant been preaching? Okay, you agree with monetism? Do you believe God is one? Answer the question. What has the dominant Christians been teaching from then all the way until now? Let me now ask you a question, okay? You ask me some question. Truth Lantern. Truth Lantern, I'm giving you you an opportunity to answer this question. I don't know why, what's wrong with you you Muslims that you guys can't answer this question? Answer the question I'm asking you. What is the dominant message that the Christians are preaching? So now the, the corrupt the corrupt Christian or the real Christian that were Muslims, which which Christian or ah, the so there's of Nicaea, a corrupt Christian? No, because Council of Nicaea changed the religion and they put Trinity and stuff like that. Do we talk about that? Or is has has did has Trinity become the, the dominant doctrine amongst the Christians? Yeah, because the, yeah. the crusaders they they forced people and they did something to spread it. Ah, got it. That. So the Trinity the Trinity has been the dominant teaching amongst the Christians. So, this is what you have. Either, 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 either the disbelievers were actually successful against Allah and the messenger and the the, uh, followers of Jesus, and they infiltrated the the message of Jesus by prickling in the Trinity, making the Trinity the dominant doctrine, and Allah failed to keep his promise, or... The Trinitarians are the Christians that Allah helped since he says that the followers of Jesus will be dominant until the day of resurrection. Uh, the, listen now. If the Trinity was a, the main message, it should be in the Bible that Jesus said, I am God, worship me. There is no verse in the Bible. Jesus himself himself said, I am God and worship me. And second, the real uh, followers of Christian, uh, Isa, Jesus is today Muslims. We are the real, we are, we are the real, we are the real Christian. If you, in that specific that we submit to God and we follow Jesus. I don't we think, I don't think, you. did you, did you hear what I just heard? Did you hear what I said? Yeah, so it should be answered in this so, way. So what, wait, what, what, what did I say? What did, what did I say? You said that Allah will help the true followers of Jesus, which is the Christian of today, you think? But I say no, they are not. They why, 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 why would I say they're the Christians of today? Why would I say that? Because you said the belief of Christians of today? Because Allah says that he made the followers of Jesus dominant. And so they will remain dominant, people. correct? Yes, we are dominant. So who has been who who's the dominant Christians uh, uh in, in all of Christendom? Who who are the dominant Christians? Uh, dominant Christians? What do you mean? Who are the Christians that have been dominant? Who are they? <laughs> the crusaders. The crusaders, and what did the what did the crusaders believe? So, so I heard that they killed people and they conquered the dominant. I think that what's, that's what you mean. I don't know what you mean. That if you mean... Uh, did, they, did, they, did they believe in the Trinity? I don't know. Like maybe, maybe because... They uh, believed in the Trinity. Do the dominant, do the, is the dominant belief in Christianity the Trinity today? No, because it's not... It's not? In the Bible. No, it, it's not in the Bible, but people believe it. Some All right, some let me ask you this. Is the dominant message amongst Christianity that Jesus died for their sins? Uh, uh, Christians believe that. Is that the dominant belief amongst amongst Christianity that Jesus died for their sins? They believe that. Answer the question. I said they believe that. Is that the dominant belief or not? Most of them believe that, yes. Good, so it's the dominant belief. So Allah says that he will make the followers of Jesus in spreading the message of Jesus dominant over the disbelievers. So whoever has the dominant message, whoever's message has succeeded and has been dominant, those are the ones that Allah helped. Okay, you you wanna you wanna let me answer your question or uh, or you I wanna go if you want, let me answer your question. Okay, then I don't wanna talk to you. Go ahead. So Allah helped the ones. So Allah helped the ones. Here's the question to you. So Allah helped the one, the Christians, the believers, the followers of Jesus, who whose message is that Jesus died for their sins. Correct. Yeah. So that invented and they bring it to Bible and they the corruption. They invented it. Wait. Allah helped them. 
How they invented? Allah the helped Christians them. Christians that bring that to Bible. The Christians bring those things in the Bible. So, so, okay. so, okay. So, so you mean to tell me that they that they distorted the message, and so therefore Allah failed? Listen, listen. Okay, let me ask. Go ahead. Ask so Allah failed so then, English, correct? My English is not very good. You know, no, I, I'm letting you speak, bro. You have the floor. So Allah failed then, correct? No, no, I answered you many times, okay? You want to you go to, you know? I'm confused. You're saying that the dominant message among the Christians is that Jesus died for their sins. But this is something that they invented and added to the message of Jesus. Yeah, there so are that, many things in the Bible. Good. So that means that Allah failed to make the true believers of Jesus and his message the dominant one. He failed to do that. No, Allah said the real Christian are Muslims, those who create the disciples, the Ebionites, you know, those people, not the Christians of today, do it as a false belief of Trinity, you know. It's not about tr 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 this Trinity, guys. Take care, my brother. I think you I think you reached I think you reached the limits uh, uh that you can to this conversation. Uh and now you're just going back and just repeating. So it's okay. Man, <sighs> guys, this argument is untouchable. Either Allah is a failure or we are the true Christians that Allah helped. The Trinitarian gospel preaching, miracle working, Holy Ghost filled Christians, Allah helped us. We're the dominant ones been dominant for 2,000 years. Thank you, Allah. Appreciate it. Which also means that the Quran is false. Since our message is true that Jesus died for our sins, the Quran goes against that. Since the message is true that God is triune, the Quran goes against that. Since our message is true that Jesus is the divine son of God, the Quran goes against that. So Allah helped the people that destroy and demolish this message that Muhammad came up with. The Quran is false. Thank you, Allah. 